To view this video, we have a number of options, but one of the best ways is to simply move our mouse pointer over the video. A preview of the video appears along with two arrows marked B and A. These correspond to the B and A viewers. We have a face-on view of Tiger Woods in B already, so let's load this new video in A. We click A and the video appears. Naturally, we'd like to compare these two videos. An analyzer provides us with a number of tools to help us. From left to right, we have a grabber tool that can move a video within the viewer. The line tool allows us to draw lines. The arrow tool lines with arrows at the end. The rectangle and oval tools, not surprisingly, rectangles and ovals. And the last tool is the angle tool useful for measuring the angle between two lines. As you can see, each of the drawing tools can use thin, medium, or thick lines and can be drawn in any of nine colors, including one custom color you can set yourself by double-clicking. Let's check out the position of Tiger's hips and head as he nears impact. First, we use the grabber tool to position the video within the viewer. Then, let's use the oval tool to mark Tiger's head position at address in order to compare that position to the position just prior to impact. We'd like to show how his head movement has changed so we can use the arrow tool to indicate that. Let's also look at his lead hip position relative to his stance. The line tool is all we need here. Holding shift down will constrain the line to a vertical. Now let's create a Tiger Woods folder and put the videos in there. The simplest way is probably to click the New Folder button. We'll call it Tiger Woods and create the folder in our Models section. To move the videos we've already imported into this folder, we can simply drag and drop them. That's all well and good, but Tiger isn't coming for a lesson today. Tom and Sue are. Let's add them to our library. We do this by clicking New Student in the toolbar. Tom is already in our address book, so we choose him from the list below. We're prompted for some initial information his handicap, any physical limitations, his goals, etc. We can edit this information at any time, so for now, we'll skip it. Sue is coming later today as well, so let's add her while we're thinking about it. Unlike Tom, Sue is not in the address book, so we add her by clicking the New Student button. For now, we'll just leave out her phone number and email address, as well as the additional information.